<laughs> Perfect. Like. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022, and we hope you enjoy this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hadley. Happy Friday, everyone, and it's another three-day weekend for students again. Yay! I'm Cece. Yes, three days, and it's supposed to be really nice in warm weather, too. Hello, I'm Savannah. Now let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, poetry writers, did you, do you enjoy writing poetry? Do you like sharing poetry with others? Well, it's time for our annual Junior High Mike Derp Poetry Award Contest. Your poem's theme should honor Mike Derp's positive spirit. The message should be uplifting and inspiring. To get more information and enter the contest, join the contest Google Classroom code. The Google Classroom code is R-O-E-M-7-D-I, as you see here on the screen. Please note that the deadline is Monday, May 2nd, and the winner will be announced at the end of the school year. Oh, I think I'm going to enter. What's the code? Uh, it's still here. See it below. Again, it's classroom code R-O-E-M-7-D-I. All right, next, make sure you keep collecting spare change around your home, and then you or your guardian donate it to the Pledge Star website. Let's work to have the best fun of fun ever. Check out these cool sunglasses and tattoos that we can get. Okay. I'm really looking forward to the fun of fun during school time and spending fun free time with my friends. They say everyone donates $40, then we can have everything on the list. I want to be able to do the dunking booth. I hope the weather is nice so that the teachers don't get too cold when they get dunked. Me too. Today's Earth Day. Each year on April 22nd, National Earth Day campaigns around the world to promote ways to keep the Earth healthy and our planet li livable. Since its inception, the organizers promote events during the education of a variety of subjects, including climate change, air pollution, water pollution, erosion, recycling, composting, renewable fuels and power, carbon footprints, efficient cars, rainforest, ecosystems. As citizens of the world, we can take action to protect the Earth, its creatures, and its habitats. Greener living can include more fuel-efficient vehicles or windows. It can also include landscaping for your climate reducing the amount of water required. How to observe. Hashtag National Earth Day. Support and use recycling programs in your community. Volunteer to help clean up local parks and streets on clean days. Support frequent green businesses. Use reusable products versus disposable. Repurpose items that have outworn their use. Shop secondhand and thrift stores for gently used items. Use energy efficient appliances for wine dry or line dry your clothes. Walk or ride a bike to work if possible. Carpool, make one trip instead of multiple trips for shopping. Now for the fact of the day. Did you know that the most used word in the world is the and accounts for 5% of all words used? Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked if you had used a locker at all this year. For me, I barely used it. And it looks like most people agree and haven't used their locker at all. Check out today's daily survey in the News Crew Classrooms Communication. Wow, those results were close. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Richard D., Ava H., and Luke R. today. Also, happy birthday to Miss Adams. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Hey, good afternoon and happy Friday, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, attention all eighth graders. After two long years, the high school is bringing back student council. STUCO, Student Council, is a class at Sycamore High School. Student Council members will be placed in the course if they are elected. The high school is asking all interested 8th grade students to submit a 75-word essay. Now, that ain't a lot, so I know y'all don't like to write. That's not hardly anything. All essays must be submitted before April 29th. If there are more than six students who express an interest, we will host an election. 
If interested, please see Mrs. DiOrio in room 134 for guidelines and information on how to submit your student council essay. Remember, the boys' soccer meeting has been rescheduled to next Friday. Next Friday. So any 7th grade boy interested in playing soccer here at the junior high next year, you will have a meeting next Friday, April 29th, during Flex Bell in room 240. That's Mr. Tanaka's team. And remember... According to Ohio High School Athletic Association, you can only play on one school, play on one team at the same time in the same sport. If you can't make the meeting, please stop, please stop by Mr. Tanaka's room to receive the handout. Don't forget, buy your tickets for Willy Wonka Jr. That is happening next weekend, April 28th, 28th 29th, and 30th at the high school theater starting at 7 o'clock. All right, you can purchase tickets for $10 at abestheater.org or at the door for 12 This is going to be a great show. Make sure you stop by and see that. Also, during Flex Bell today, they had a uh, girls' cross-country meeting for any girl interested in running cross-country at the high school. If you missed that meeting, please see Mr. Shomo in room 215 to get that information. And last but not least, International Club, you're going to meet today from 315 to 410 in room 214. Our focus country today is South Korea. All right, that's it for me. You guys have a great extended weekend. You don't have to work on Monday or go to school, but I do. So enjoy, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Over to Lily with the Pets of the Week. Hi, and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. This week's pets are Pupper, submitted by Sam S., Evie, submitted by Ophelia S., and Charlotte and Daisy, submitted by Lauren W. Okay, most of you thought that the dog breed last week was an English water dog. The correct breed was a French water dog. Correct, congratulations to anyone who got this right. You can see the picture for this week right here. Okay, this week we're featuring a Labrador Retriever mix named Cooper. Cooper is a three and a half year old dog who is good with cats and dogs, as well as children. If you're interested in adopting Cooper, check out Pet Finder or contact Louie's Legacy Animal Rescue. Thanks for watching and have a great day. What's for lunch today? For lunch today, we have a mashed potato bowl. We also have serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. So glad we have another three-day weekend. Yeah, I'll definitely be taking advantage of the warm weather. Same. I heard that the weather will be sunny with a high of 80s. Don't forget to see the Willy Wonka, to see the musical Willy Wonka that our lovely theater program here at Sycamore Junior High is putting on at the end of this month. Don't forget to buy your tickets soon. Also, enjoy your three-day weekend. Now for the joke of the day. Thanks, Miss Hurley's class, for another joke. How do astronomers organize a party? How? They plan it. <laughs> <laughs> Go A's!